Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Uh, I honestly cannot remember what I was doing last time. Because this game is repetitive as all hell. Uh, right, what do we... Have a bunch of stuff to do in Low Town. All right. We need to go to the pub. I just ate like a lot of pizza, and now I'm going to explode. <laughs> But it was a very good pizza. You're smuggling poison. I thought you were trying to change your ways. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. Really? It's poison. It kills people. <sighs> I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? Lol, no. I refuse to be a part of this. You want it, get it yourself. Oh, come on. If I don't get the goods back, I'm ruined. Money. Why don't you make this worth my while? This is all the coin I have on me. Now will you please tell me where my cargo is? Woodrow's warehouse. Ah, sweet music to my ears. And probably worth the steep price, knowing you killed every raider in there. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. The steady process of making Aveline hate me. <laughs> Need more constitution, my dude. Right, that's our business at the pub dealt with. Hi. Do you ever feel like the world's getting? No. Nope. Uh, we need to. Um. We need to talk to Nero as well. I love the pub music. The vibe. Hey bitch, what's up? Oh. That's what's up. Does gravity not exist in the oh shit?
die. What is Kama? Who knows? Little pinpricks. Directions to the shop's base. We've got a new base and do lot best keep the law away. Directions to the Lowtown sneak below. But don't come unless you've got good news or you'll get an answer square between the eyes. Lovely. Hold on, let me just loot these guys' dead bodies. Like that lawful good I am. Here, oh, miss. Hey. Word is you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Alpha. Oh, she has chosen poorly. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Guess we gotta follow this bitch into the. Don't like interruptions. Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. You don't say. A foolish risk in low town. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Then what are you looking Perhaps for? Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business. You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Varnell! Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Okay, what? You have a Templar with you? Our little pinpricks is closer. Ugh. Ah, oh, my game crashed. Fantastic. All right, let's try that again. Aha! Success. Talking to you. Is that it?
Apparently it's so. God, really feeling that pizza now. Oof. Good job in there. In fact, get rid of any other groups like that, and I'll be at the Hanged Man with some toys as reward. Toys? to see if some interested friends. Well, how about that? How about that indeed? Hey, where are you from? Ended up right where we needed to be, which is rather nice. I'm expected. You literally just met me, dude. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. A Cerebas? Here? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts? I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader? If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. You don't just stumble on something, someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talvashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I'm certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. Okay, but why can't he speak for himself? You're not interested in who you might be hiring. If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist, what is your family name? My name is Hawk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Not a lot of the quests in this game really make sense. They don't... All right, fine, I'll do it. I can get him out of Kirkwall. 
He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. I had never thought about the plight of mages among the Canari. But it seems they are even more oppressed than we are. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. Okay, I guess we're doing this then. Hurrah! I would not approve of coming here to avoid the guards, but these circumstances are unique. Oh dear, spiders. Alright, come on, let's get this over with. Trap! Done. Hey, get off me. different to our struggles, even with his freedom as the prize. I don't know, Kanari are pretty reserved if talking to Sternus. Oh great. Ah, look at this. Undercity is feared by all, but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. <laughs> uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? <laughs> you lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound, like this thing? I'll see you dead first. Huh. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! Thanks, my dude. Katojan, calm you. <laughs> Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> I know that kind of blind instinct. It is hard to judge how much control he has. <laughs> Your 
You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? He may not know himself. Keep control and remember who is on your side. <laughs> of course. I expected no different. All the best gear so far has just been DLC. Rabashidan, I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talbashoth, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Serabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Serabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. I've met with your leader. The Arishok would not want a potential ally challenged in this way. Claiming to know the will of the Arishok with Sarabas in your care is Marasi Mikari, Oops. a child bleating without meaning. The Arishok knows what is to be done with Sarabas who lose their Avarad. There is no greater threat to their control. The sister called him Ketojan. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kune. Or Baz who have not yet been enlightened. You don't care that someone abused your dead to get you here? No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarabas. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. Are mages like Anders so dangerous? He's given no reason to fear him yet. You waste your breath. He'll never tolerate my kind. You are Sarah Bas? Bas Sarah Bas? Vashedan! Neira Setar Karasam! You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. Oh. But we're no threat to each other. Bas Sarah Bas, you will be no threat to each other. Crap. <laughs> Wrong choice of words. Anders 
Can you like freeze everyone, please? Thank you. A control rod. <laughs> I am unbound. Odd. Wrong. But you deserve honor. You are now Pasvarad, worthy of following. I thank your intent. Even if it was wrong, I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kune. So after all of this, now you want to die? I do not want to die. I want to live. By the cube. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. Of all the ridiculous, spineless, mind-controlled, senseless piece of shit arguments I've ever heard. What comfort has freedom brought you, mage? You would have more if you submitted to the Kune. Would he, though? Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kune. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb, it is to be. My job ended when we exited the city. The rest is up to you. You know of certainty and borders. You are closer to the Canari than you admit. Your role would change little if you accepted the Kune. Take this secret thing, Basfarad. Remember this day. was free she may not have known about this but clearly patrice set a trail right to us if this was her doing i have a few questions for her yeah i think we all do all right beach trips over people
Leave nothing. It must be clean with no ties. It. I think you owe me an oh. explanation. It was Hawk, right? From the streets. You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine. But they are not like us. How stupid is this woman? If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug? You are hardly that important. Oh, fuck off. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, Excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Big middle finger. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. Fuck that chantry, man. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. We'll be hearing from that one again. The chantry sucks. Like, I know they sucked, but I knew they sucked in Origins, but wow, they really suck. Literally, in Origins, the, like, the, our first interaction was the chant with the Chantry was in Lothering when we walked into the talked to the priest, and she was like, Hey, can you give us money? Like, what the fuck, dude? Chantry's gotta be corrupt as hell. What does Meryl want? Hey, what's up? This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone is jumped outside your door and that's exciting. It must be the alien age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. I think I don't think your grasp it's of the so situation is quite. So many things just get lost. Do you miss the Dalish? I miss her and Pyvel stories, the creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing, and the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful, even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. Are you feeling lost here, Meryl? A bit. But... I'll adjust. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Oh. She just wanted to talk. Okay. Uh, we should probably take care of whatever this is. She's not great, dragons.
Thrask, that Templar, that, that Templar, right? Wow, there is literally nothing here, okay. money, I'll take it. Started chill music. Okay, we didn't go that. Oh wait, is it? It's the same. Hey, my dude, what do you need? Master Hawk. Master. Ariani tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. But you're a Templar. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templar sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. All right. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the Circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Raise the bloody dead. They must be truly desperate. Only one way out for these mages now. Please tell me we're not going to force these poor fools back into the circle. I mean, I'd like to not do that, but I don't know. If they attack us first, it'll have to be self defense.
down. Maker's blessing. I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who? Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? Typical excuse. He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said without Phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. So this is an Aldred 2.0. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this blood magic. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. Well, at least that one was nice. Hey bitch, what's up? What are you doing? They're here! The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle! Decimus, no! Stay your hand! These are no Templars! What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call! Alright. Can you die? Uh. As a friend. Nowhere to be found. Fantastic. Well, you can glyph prostate and heal. Sandra's you should probably heal as well. the circle. How is it you side against your own? Maybe your lover should have tried hello. We're friendlier than you think. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. <laughs> he obviously meant a lot to you. He was our future. Until he came, we never thought to fight back. I told Decimus he was going too far, but he said it was the only way to protect us. To protect me. Are we supposed to believe that you had no part in his actions? I swear to you, I have had no truck with demons. Please, 
We only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. If not in the Circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places outside the pre-marches where the Templars are not so vigilant. What do you ask of me? There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Kirkwall before the Templars send more men. Better the death of one Templar than so many innocents. Yes, let's murder a Templar. Surely that will help. Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? Um... I will do what I can to help, but not at the cost of Thrask's life. If you will not kill him, then you must convince him you killed us. That is our only hope. I guess that works. The power of persuasion. If my game will get done loading. Okay, turns out pressing escape worked. Who knew? It was just the game being weird. So yeah, let's um... Where's the way out? Right in front of me. Who knew? Unless... Unless that's not the way out. Which would be very annoying. Are you trying to tell me this boy is all that's left of the apostates? I ran away when they began to use blood magic, sir. They are not in the cavern, Sir Karas. I have thoroughly explored- Who is this? I was helping Sir Thrask. The apostates are all dead. Dead? But I asked. You've always been soft on the robes, Thrask. Makes me wonder if these demon worshippers haven't gotten their fingers into your mind. Men, search the caverns and keep these interlopers under guard until we see what's in there. Tell your men to stand down. Show these fools what happens when you interfere with a Templar's investigation. <laughs> Yeah. 
down. <laughs> and Fenris is getting quite low on health. Else these guys have. Shit, that was just gonna go down. There can be no peace between the mages and Templars of Kirkwall, sir. It has gone too far. I thought you said you guys were going to escape. You did not aid your fellow Templars. Does that mean you are leaving the Order? I suppose my side has been picked. I will tell the other Templars you killed Karas and I came upon the bodies. I will give a false trail to follow. Thank you. And thank you. Please accept this as the only reward I can offer. I dare not carry a staff with the mark of Starkhaven on it now. This has been more than I expected. We must away. Back with the show music. We. Come, Alan. I'm sorry you were the only one I could save. All right. Ooh. That's pretty good, but it needs more strength. I'll take it, for now. Does that mean we've, we've completed everything in this part, I guess? God, this has been the most, like, long-winded and repetitive. <laughs> I hate how in this game you can't have conversations with the with your party unless the game prompts you to. That sucks. Okay, we should probably just take care of this last um, business before we head into the deep roads. God, I never thought I'd miss caves this much. Hopefully there will actually be a different map use. So I guess we just need to run around the docks and kill a load of a load of dwarves. Only job they'll be happy. Figures. Unless ah, there's there's more of them. Sure. What's this? Oh, I miss you, Alistair. I miss you so much. 
I wonder if we'll get to see him in this game. I mean, I doubt it because we're Dash not in Ferelden, but. So good with that. <laughs> Is that all of them? No. I guess there's always more, huh? These warehouses are occasionally used to store things. Yep, I say. Yeah, Harmon, I think, well, I never actually met him in Origins, but he seemed like a nice enough guy, just too rigid. I mean, Balin was sort of a dickhead, but... I wager you've a bright future ahead of you. Take this. More will come, as promised. May the stone look after you. Nice. All right. So the only thing we have left now is the Deep Roads Expedition, which we've been preparing for this in, well, basically this entire time. I hope it actually has a payoff in the end. Oh, and there's also mail. Another messenger came by with a letter. It's God, you're so desk. grouchy. Friends in low places. I understand you're in dire need of some coin. If that's true, I believe I have a proposition that you simply will not be able to refuse. Look for me at night near the foundries in Low Town. D Dougal. Dear Bethany, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to Tamra. I think her family fled to Redcliffe, but I haven't been able to locate them. I don't have much hope left, but miracles can happen. I will keep trying. I know Tamra was a close friend. I will write to you as soon as I hear something. I hope your family is doing well in Kirkwall. Please send my love to your mother. I will keep praying for you all. Sincerely, Sister Ursula. Side quests, hooray.
point. My impeccable sense of direction, as always. Yet, but I wager you'll be glad we met. The name's Dougal Gavorn, and you're Bartrand's new business partner. Hmm. Yes, Bartrand was falling all over himself to enlist my help. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but... If someone like you invested on my behalf... Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a... disagreement. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartrand obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? All right, fine. It seems I have no choice. Ever deeper. Is that it? Marvelous! You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. Ah, yes, the um, eternal quest to make everyone hate me because. I don't know. I don't really care for any of the characters in this game. Certainly not the same way I did with Origins. Except maybe Anders and Fenris. But Anders only because he was so good in Awakening. Uh, right. And Fenris because he's easily the most interesting character we've picked up so far. And that voice. Mm. I'm just gonna check all the shops. Uh, make sure that we haven't missed anything. And then after that... Definitely, we'll take these.
None of those guys have useful items. What about this guy? This shopping trip wasn't for nothing. Let's head to High Town. I'm just standing here. Don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. I keep my eyes very focused on what is right in front of me. Wow, how did I not notice that? when mages try to oppose Templars by turning to demons. There is no better way to ensure we will never be free. You won't find better prices. Oh, this kid's back. Hey. Bodan Fedig, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. 
Hello. Oh, he's learning words. Your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> <laughs> A kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rose. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. I hear that the hero is married to the king now. Damn right she is. <laughs> Fancy that. A Grey Warden Queen. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. What do you got? Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. <laughs> oh, I can uh, enchant stuff. I don't have any weapon runes. Armor? Do I have armor runes? What do I have equipped? Flint Company Curus. Uh, which apparently is not. Okay then. shops. Not that I can see. All right. I am going to head, go ahead and end this part here because it's almost time for the Grand Expedition.